What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route number 6, and we swept our way through this whole area. Found out that, uh, there's something going on in the, you know, region, that's why Cobalion came uh, towards us. And now, we're going to be checking out the Mistralton Cave. Also, in our last episode, Charon was nice enough to actually give us, uh, the EHMO 3... Yeah, shit, what the hell? The HMO3 Surf, and what the heck? What's going on here? Do you guys see these lines? Okay, so something's going on right here. I'm not liking that. <laughs> okay, so... Huh! Okay, so... This is odd. I don't know if, uh... This is... Oh, okay, I see what this is. Okay, so I think this emulator right here hasn't, uh... Really done anything, so let's just go ahead and use Flash. Technically, that was supposed to be the darkness, and, uh, well, huh, I'm probably gonna have to fix that a little bit later. But here we are in the, uh, Miss Stralton Cave, and what you guys need is, uh, is strength and flash in order to get by this whole area right here. Some Pokemon to keep an eye out for is Auron, Axu, Bulldor, and Wubat. Yes, you can actually find yourself an Auron right here. I'm actually thinking of, uh, probably getting one. Probably, like, off-screen or something like that. I don't know. We shall see. Still in the plans or something like that. But just make sure to have strength and flash. I don't know if this is uh, the same. If this happens the same thing, or is the same thing that happens over at uh, in the regular games and all that stuff. So here we are. I'm chasing my dream and fighting for victory. Hmm. Okay. I'm still wondering about the what the victory is. Okay. So here we are taking on Hiker Shelby. Does have one Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and use Bud Kiss right here. Now, I am at a disadvantage because, well, Brock and Fire type, but let's see what a, a reversal can do right here. It is a fighting type move. And, bam, that was, oh, uh, good. That was not good at all. That was not good at all. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out to a Pokemon that is, well, <laughs> It is well equipped by this. At least we got that that first hit off of Boulder. That way we don't have to like you know uh, worry about its uh, special effect or you know ability and all that stuff. Anywho, let's see. In our uh, in our last episode, I actually I actually uh, acknowledged the fact that yes, all these games were being or the vocals were being recorded through my camera's microphone, which was which sounded far away. So again, I do apologize for that, guys. But was it a bit of a rush? I mean, really, really wasn't in the mindset to do any kind of walkthroughs or anything like that. But now that we are, well, you're getting everything. I did mention a few episodes or a few walkthroughs ago, or I don't even know, that, yeah, I learned how to use my Blue Yeti microphone properly. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, let's see. I heard that there's a legendary Pokemon in Mr. Alton Cave. Now, you won't be able to do anything right here until after you defeat the Pokemon League. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that one right there. And I think that's when the legendary Pokemon like Kabalion will come back and actually, you know, you can actually capture it. Now, you will be finding some cool items like a Dust Ball right here. Keep an eye out for the TM80, which is Rock Slide. And, well, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch up our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and switch out Bookies because, well, yeah, you're not really equipped for this one right here. Okay, so here we go. Wanting to battle this, I believe this is Jebediah. It's a pretty cool name. Jebediah Springfield. You guys ever watch The Simpsons? You know, the episode where Jebediah Springfield was actually Jebediah Sprungfield. You know, complete opposite of what he, what he really was. I don't know. I'm just making talk right here. So here he comes out with an Onyx, and let's go straight for a Surf attack right here. And this Surf is going to be good. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Okay, so we have defeated Jebediah. Now, from what it looks like right here, I think that's the... Okay, so yes. Just push this aside, and you will actually go straight to the entrance. So... This is actually the only uh, area right now in the Mr. Alton Cave that you can actually go and visit. Kind of messed up. But right here you'll be able to find yourself the Yellow Shard. And I believe the other items that I had mentioned, you won't be able to get there until later on. Holy crud. <laughs> 
So that was that episode, I guess. Nah, I'm just playing, guys. Uh, I just saw the entrance to the other area. Actually, not this one. Actually, I don't even know why I need Flash if, like, look. That was supposed to be the darkness right there. So the other entrance is right there. I was completely wrong. See, this is the reason why I got the, the guide right here. So we defeated these guys. So now we're going to be going into the next area right here, which, you know, I... Th no, this is not where you, you'll uh, be able to find Kabalion or where you found Kabalion back in Pokemon Black and White. All right, Cheddar. Let's move uh, these boulders right here. And, well, let's see. There's some more areas right here. Yes, let's go ahead and use another Repel because we do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. And, well, look at that. Green Shard can actually help us somewhere down the line. Just don't know where. And push this one right here. And there we go. Okay, so most of uh, the boulders have been pushed aside. This one is not an item. And you know what? These lines are getting on my nerves right here. So let's go ahead and use Magneto. Now, just remember, guys, uh, Flash in Pokemon Black and White 2, Black and White, they are... Or they... You can't... It, it's not an HM anymore, but they are infinite, just like an HM, so just... Just keep an eye out for that, and, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Gigalift, because I haven't used this guy in, in a bit. You know what? I haven't used Magneto in a bit. Alright, let's see what you can do right here. There, if there is a steep cave in the east, I go there and train my Pokemon. And if there is a strong trainer in the west, I go there and challenge that trainer. Yeah, yeah, thank. Okay, so here we go, taking on Jolf or Jeff. Kind of an okay. I don't even want to get to that. I remember back in high school, there was there was a individual by the by the same name, same way it was spelled. And to me, it was like, okay, that was kind of a lame way to spell it, but got the, I got the gift of what, why, why is it spelled that way? I think it has something to do European and all that stuff. But anywho, back to this right here. Yes, we are now susceptible to ground type attacks, but look at this, Gigalith, kicking some butt, taking some names, getting a little bit of experience points, coming out with an Axew look. So let's go right ahead and uh, get this Axew out of the way. Before that, let's go ahead and use a Reflect. That way, our defenses are raised. And, oh my god. That cannot be good because, well, that will increase both its speed and attack. That's, so those are two vital things. And this one, thankful, well, thanks, thanks to the Reflect, it actually saved us just a little bit. But we will not give up. Let's go right ahead and use a Hyper Potion right here for Giga Lift. Yes, we are not quitters. Okay, alrighty. So here comes a slash attack. As many of you guys already know, Axu is more of a physical attacker than anything. So, yeah, you just got to be aware of that. And here comes a Dragon Claw. And, yes, we are thinking that Reflect attack. And there you go. Axu defeated. Okay. Alrighty, Gigalith is kicking some butt. I'm actually being strategic. Look at that. <laughs> You guys must be proud of me, even though there's some haters out there. You guys are proud of me, too. Anywho, let's go right ahead and uh, get attacked by a Pokemon, because, well, yeah, we're underleveled. And, oh, look at that. It is an Axu. Okay. You know what? I'm going to catch it. We need Bonesaw. We're not going to put it on our team, but you know what I mean, guys. And look at that. Bonesaw. Okay, hopefully this is the future Bonesaw. We don't want to mess this up, so let's go right ahead and throw a some kind of Pokeball at it. Uh, crap baskets. Okay, so let's go with a let's go with an Ultra Ball right here. Come on, Axie, you know you want to be the Bone Saw, Bone Saw, Bone Saw, and there you go, Bone Saw has been captured. Okay, alrighty, so here it is. Axu, the Tusk Pokemon, Dragon-type Pokemon, its large tusks have a tendency to break, but each time they grow back, they grow harder and sturdier. Okay, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Very intense Pokemon, actually. I have a very physical one, too. And as many of you guys already know, we're going to bequeath the name Bonesaw to this Pokemon. Now, I don't know where I will... Let's see, I don't know where exactly... What exactly I will do with it? Maybe eventually I'll like level it up and just like battle some, some stuff. I don't know. 
We'll see. Okay, so that's a successful capture, and that is nothing right there. Now, if you go right here, you grab yourselves the Hyper Potion, which is very, very useful. And, well, let's see. Before we go ahead and battle another trainer, which, let's see, I think that will have to be Ace Trainer Bell. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon, because you know what? That's always cool to do, right? Right? Okay, so Gigalith has been healed, and we're going to be going straight to this girl right here. And let's see what she has to say. Wait a sec. Let me grip my Pokeball a little bit tighter. Yeah, like that. Now I'm good. Okay. Alrighty, so that was a little odd. Just a little bit, but still... You know, it is what it is. So here it goes. Ace Trainer Bell wants the battle, and she is coming out with an Arkin. Okay, so... This Pokemon, it is fast, and it is physical as well. So let's go straight for a physical, or a Psy Beam. And that nearly takes out Arkin. And... Okay, so agility just raises its, its speed just a little bit more. And that Quick Guard... Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Arkin has been defeated. Gigalith grows to level 31, finally. And it is learning Synchronize, or Synchrono... Synchronoise. Okay, let's see what this move is all about. Let's see. Uh, using an odd shockwave, the user inflicts damage on any Pokemon of the same type in the area around it. Okay, so that is not going to be good because I remember using this move. It is, uh, it never works. It never works. Well, I don't follow directions, like I don't follow directions. So, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, here we go, taking on an Axew, and it's the same deal all over again. So let's go with the Reflect. And let's see what happens. Okay, same dance. Alrighty, okay, so we're just maximizing ourselves right here. Let's go straight for a Fasai Beam right here. And wow, this Pokemon. Oh wow, she's jacking up her Pokemon. So here we go. Where's a fairy type where you need him? So there we go. That nearly destroys Axu. So here we go again. And that slash attack, not so physical not so strong anymore because of, you know, reflect. You guys should be proud of me because I'm being strategic this time. You guys should. I don't know. I don't know what's gotten over me. So, let's see. Nothing's over there, I suppose. And, well, let's use another repel. And let's go right here. We'll grab ourselves the blue shard, which is another, another great item if you want to trade it or anything like that. And, well, let's see. Check every stone just to see if you know, there's uh, hidden items around here. You know, we love our hidden items, right, guys? And yes, we have found ourselves in Ultra Ball, which uh, could say something right here. And okay, so we're going to go right here. We're going to go into the next floor. And this is where you'll actually find Kabalion. I don't think you're going to find Kabalion right now. And you'll find yourself an escape rope right here. And let's see, let's just go a little further. Yes. So, right up here, you'll actually be able to, well, in Pokemon Black and White, you'll be able to find Kabalion. Since we're in Black and White 2, we just saw it. Eventually, we'll get to see where it's at. Um, but it's going to be a little, it's going to be powered up. It's going to be souped up, guys. So, just be aware of that. And I think this is the item that we've been looking for. Yes. We found ourselves the TM-80 Rock Slide. And, yes, we'll just go ahead and use another Repel. I think there is just one more trainer here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see, let's go right here. Push this big old boulder, yeah, Shadar. About to do its thing, there we go, look at that, okay, so that's, there we go, okay, so there's that. We just came from there. And, well, let's see. Maybe we look right here, nothing right there. Okay, so let's go right over to the old guy. Why am I not moving? I don't know. If you talk to this guy. I've been searching for the legendary Pokemon Kabalion for decades. I wonder if, it's, if, it, if it still hates humans. Or maybe it looks for, at this world where Pokemon and Pokemon and people it coexist and has its thoughts about it. Huh. Okay, so yeah, I just saw Kabalion. And look at that, we found ourselves a Dragon Gem. Very useful item right here. Now... I'm going to laugh, or I will laugh at you a little, because uh, Kabali was, like, literally right up 
right up ahead of you. It really was. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if these Nintendo people were thinking properly about you know where these poke or where this Pokemon was. And yes, let's go ahead and use that. And there is nothing there. Okay, so we have completed everything right here into the Mr. Alton Cave. Right now in Pokemon Black and White 2, you will not be able to find Kabalion. Not until the like after game and all that stuff. So we're gonna be using the escape rope, get the heck out of here, and well, we're gonna be using a surf. And well, the next journey is going to take us into Charge Stone Cave. Luckily for us, we do have enough, uh, we do have enough, what was it called, uh, Max Repels. Now, uh, is there any items right here? No, we just crossed that. Okay, so, yep, that completes our adventure right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the Charge Stone Cave. We got a little bit of a surprise going in there. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, Click that heart button right there, or the link is in the description right there below. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. See you guys.